Hi everyone, I'm Pat Prokop. This is Heavenly Backyard Astronomy, but first I want to talk a little bit about the garden. I wish this was smell-o-vision because the Confederate jasmine is now beginning to bloom and oh my gosh, it is smelling so wonderful in this little section of the garden right now. I just wish you could enjoy it. Well, something I know you can enjoy is the galaxy. Galaxy season is fully upon us right now and Tonight, I want to look at another galaxy that I've been working on. It's a galaxy low in the southern sky, so it's very difficult to get, but it's well worth it. Welcome to Heavenly Backyard Astronomy. By the way, if you like my videos, please subscribe and don't forget to hit that little bell at the bottom so you'll be notified when I send up new videos. This is the Orion Maxutoff Newtonian 190 millimeter astrograph. It has a focal length of 1,000 millimeters, giving an F ratio, I think, of F5.3. And attached to the scope, I have the Orion uh, CT80 uh, for my guide scope and guide camera. And then over here, I have the main camera itself, and that's going to be the Altair 294 Pro. A, uh, thermoelectrically cooled camera. It's a one-shot color camera and I also have the uh, Pegasus autofocuser uh, cube to help with the uh, focusing uh, from upstairs. And all this is attached uh, via my uh, USB hub that has a uh, well, about uh, 200 feet extension cable that goes up to my computer so I can control this system all the entire system from upstairs on the computer itself. So the target in question tonight is not over there, that's the east, not over there in the west, even though in the western sky we do have the planet Venus that is just brilliantly shining right now in the uh, western evening sky, but more so to the south. To the south is a uh, galaxy that has always piqued my interest. It looks like a sombrero, uh, a Mexican hat. Uh, it's galaxy Messier 104. However, it's low in the south, and if you look to the south, I can show you right here, there's a lot of trees out there. It's just above the tree line, as that's where the galaxy will be for about two hours. I have about a two hour window where I can actually see the galaxy from this location here with this scope. So I'm going to add some more data to it tonight. I've already got 40 minutes on it. I want to add some more data tonight to see if I can bring out even more details of this galaxy. Well, in the past a month or so, I, I have taken some galaxies. Uh, the Pinwheel Galaxy, which is high up in the north sky around the uh, handle of the Big Dipper, uh, that's Messier 101. That's a great target to look at right now as well. Another target I, I shot a couple of weeks ago was the uh, Sunflower Galaxy, uh, which is a, a, an awesome galaxy to, to, to take a peek at as well. And then most recently, I took a picture of the Black Eye Galaxy, or the Evil Eye Galaxy galaxy and uh, that galaxy shows up rather well up in the uh, near Leo uh, in the constellation Leo the lion nearby but tonight I want to focus on getting more data on Messier 104 and that's the sombrero galaxy and the I call it the Mexican hat galaxy and we'll see what happens Well, I'm setting up now to capture M104. As I look off to the west, though, I can still see Orion slowly setting down into the western sky. We're going to say our farewells to Orion for this season. We'll be back until, what, November or December uh, of later this year. So, uh, good riddance, Orion, and have a happy uh, hibernation time. We'll see you next December. While I was waiting for M101 to clear the big holly tree off to my southeast, I thought I'd start off and warm up with a, uh, a globular cluster, M53. It's a fantastic globular cluster, and uh, it's a good way to, I guess, to warm up. Anyway, M53. Let's go to the uh, system now and check out M104. I think it's above the trees now. Yep, there it is. It's showing up right now. It's above the tree. So I'm going to uh, center this. All right, I'll take that. Now, 
What I'm also going to do is I'm going to set, uh, of course, PHD2 guiding system. I'm going to turn that on. And I'm going to uh, take 300 second exposure. That's five minutes uh, at my gain, uh, Unity gain for this system here uh, on SharpCap Pro is 450. Sounds like a high number, but considering the highest number on this system is 72,000. So 450 is way low, but that's a, that's a good exposure. And that's what I took the other night. I got 40 minutes of exposure the other night. Uh, so I want to add to that. Now, so I have to have the, well, I don't have to, but it's a good idea to use the same uh, time and the same settings. And in this case also, I'm using no filters. The, uh, the sky is crystal clear tonight. It's a 10 out of a 10. And the um, moon is not an issue. It's a new moon coming up. So you can see the um, galaxy is still well east of the meridian by about two hours at least, almost two hours east of the meridian. So I'm going to track it just, just past the meridian. That's when it's going to go behind the next set of trees, and that'll be it. We'll see. I'll have the finished product a little bit later. Actually about three hours later. So see you then. There's a stretched raw picture right there. The first frame. That's a five minute exposure. There is the unstretched image coming off the monitor. I don't have a screen capture program on this computer. It's on the other computer. Looks pretty good to me. Well, thanks for watching. And remember, unless you need rain, clear skies, everyone. You know, it's amazing to me, just looking up at the sky at night, all the wonders that are out there. It's just amazing.